For the ancient Greeks, the son of Uranus and Gaia, of heaven and earth, the world ocean was a titan. The Pacific, Indian, Arctic, Southern, and Atlantic oceans exert significant control over the Earth's climate and play a major role in regulating the temperature of our planet. Unique within the North Atlantic Ocean and the only sea without any land boundaries, the Sargasso Sea covers more than 3 million square kilometers. This shoreless sea takes its name from the brown seaweed that floats adrift, brought together by the wind and the current. It is surrounded by a circular marine current that traps anything floating within. For several years, the seaweed has been washing up on the coasts of the Caribbean, far beyond the Sargasso Sea, creating economic, health, and ecological problems. In the sun and the heat, the piles of sargassum begin a long process of rotting. As it breaks down, the organic material emits hydrogen sulfide, a gas that smells of rotten eggs and is particularly dangerous when inhaled. One of the worst affected areas is the island of Marie-Galan near Guadeloupe. Donc je suis riverain. Là, je suis à, à 20 mètres du, du bord de mer. Il n'y a pas que le corps, il y a aussi euh, tout, ce qui, tout ce qui est à l'intérieur de la maison. Il, euh, il attaque le cuivre, en particulier tous les métaux, mais surtout le cuivre. Donc ça veut dire que euh, tout ce qui est informatique, tout ce qui est électronique, les frigos, les micro-ondes, euh, euh, ça m'a coûté à peu près 2000 euros euh, il y a trois ans. J'ai une moto, il a fallu que je change tout le système électrique de la moto qui était bouffé complètement. Euh. To overcome these constant crises, there are plans in the French Antilles to collect the seaweed and convert it into compost or bioplastic, for example. Those plans received the support of the French Environment and Energy Management Agency. But how can a new industry be developed out of an unpredictable resource? Why has this recent proliferation occurred? When and where will seaweed next be washed ashore? What do we currently know about these aquatic plants, this grassy sea? To answer these questions, we come aboard the Antea, a vessel from the French Oceanographic Fleet, to meet a multidisciplinary team of scientists from the Sargasso Consortium led by the French Research Institute for Sustainable Development and the Mediterranean Institute of Oceanography. Supported by a crew of experienced and committed sailors, psychologists or algae specialists, oceanographers, biologists and even geneticists are working together to shed some light on this mystery. On a mis deux ans pour, euh, pour monter cette expédition, pour essayer de comprendre euh, les pullulations des sargasses dans l'Atlantique tropical, alors qu'habituellement qu ces algues euh, se développent plus dans le nord de l'Atlantique, notamment dans la mer des sargasses. Building on the dedicated work of a team of oceanographers on dry land, the search continues on the immensity of the ocean. On the surface of this nutrient-poor oligotrophic sea, clumps of seaweed are sparse. By cross-referencing satellite images with models of the winds and the current, the sargassum is finally detected much further south. Donc là, j'ai principalement utilisé des données à haute et moyenne résolution pour essayer de détecter les sargasses depuis l'espace et d'aider le commandant et le chef de mission à 
choisir la route tous les matins pour avoir le plus de chances possible d'attraper les radeaux. Voilà, on discute de là où il y a potentiellement des radeaux, et puis après, moi, je calcule en fonction de la route et de la distance. Donc euh, tout ça, on le regarde, on fait son petit schéma, son petit calcul. Et puis on est super content quand au lever du jour, on tombe sur les sargasses promises. <rire> Once the sargassum has been found, work can begin. During this unique campaign, 31 sampling stops are made over the route, from the coast of South America to the Sargasso Sea. On the foredeck, the oceanographers are measuring reflectance, the proportion of light reflected by the water's surface with and without sargassum. These onboard measurements are then compared with measurements taken from space via satellite. Cross-referencing this data plays a key role in analyzing and interpreting the satellite images and thus helps to accurately locate drifting sargassum, which is essential in order to anticipate its movements. On the aft deck, it's action stations for the rest of the team. First, they identify the type and species of sargassum involved. On dry land, in preparation for this mission, each of the scientists spent long hours mentally going through and rehearsing their assigned task. Now, the reality of the ocean, the weather conditions, and the difficult procedures all mean they need to adapt quickly. They constantly call on the crew of sailors to review and adjust the sampling techniques. The seaweed is collected using a surface net or pole nets depending on the size of the sargassum clumps and the sea conditions. It is then sorted right there on the deck. Despite the huge volume of samples taken, each one is identified, packed, and carefully labeled. Il y a un gros travail de, de récolte et de recensement de tout ce qui a été prélevé lors de ces deux legs, donc le premier et le deuxième, donc tout réunir en un seul endroit pour avoir une vision globale de tout ce qui a été fait, de tous les échantillons qu'on a qui devront être analysés par la suite et bien répartir euh, le travail pour chacun et surtout avoir une traçabilité. Ouais, je les ai mis comme ça. For the geneticists, the aim is to study the differences that can be observed between individuals of the same species or of different species. This approach is known as population genetics. Quelles sont les espèces de sargasses qui sont présentes ici? Effectivement, d'après la morphologie. On distingue déjà ici, dans ce qu'on a récolté, au moins trois types de sargasses. L'outil génétique va essayer de nous dire est-ce que effectivement, ces trois types sont génétiquement différents et correspondent effectivement à des espèces différentes. Et même aller essayer de se dire est-ce qu'au sein d'un groupe qui est morphologiquement homogène, est-ce qu'on ne pourrait pas trouver des espèces différentes à l'intérieur Ça, c'est le type 2 et ça, c'est le type 3. Pour le moment, on n'a pas décrit, on ne connaît pas la reproduction sexuée de ces espèces, donc il se peut très bien que ce qu'on observe soit un, un immense clone, des fragments d'algues qui soient toutes génétiquement identiques. To learn even more, it's also important to understand the environment in which the seaweed grows. 
starting with the smallest living elements at the base of the food web, phytoplankton and zooplankton. A significant quantity of water is also taken at each sampling point. It will be filtered over several hours. The scientists are hoping to understand the chemical properties of the environment and its ability to fix nitrogen, which is essential to the development of aquatic plant life. The chlorophyll fluorescence is measured to assess the seaweed's ability to harvest light energy while avoiding sun damage. To discover the makeup of the water column, the researchers, engineers, and crew use different instruments. These allow them to measure the temperature and salinity of the water column at different depths at each sampling point. Usually, these types of seaweed collect in the form of threads of varying thicknesses brought together by a series of surface whirlpools and aligned by the regular winds that blow through this area. But sometimes, they form rafts of seaweed covering several hundred square meters. First seen from space, it is now time to step through the looking glass, dive beneath the surface, and observe these islands from beneath. In the shadow of this golden sky, rippling with the waves, it's an explosion of life. Crunia, triggerfish, amberjack, rainbow runner, porcupine fish, dolphin fish, and many more gather under the cover of the seaweed, which attracts huge numbers of all forms of life, from the tiniest invertebrates to the biggest predators. Far away from anywhere in the middle of the ocean, life seizes the smallest opportunity to develop. It is a veritable nursery for a large number of crab larvae, shrimp larvae, and juvenile fish. More than a simple food chain, an entire food web exists.
exists here. No, 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 no. D'abord, laisse-moi trier. Crevette. This is the ecosystem that the researchers want to observe in order to understand it. Il y a des choses auxquelles je m'attendais, c'est-à-dire par exemple avoir beaucoup de juvéniles de poissons. Il faut s'imaginer que ces radeaux de sargasses, c'est vraiment des pouponnières, et ça c'est quelque chose que j'en avais déjà entendu parler et tout, mais ça, ça m'a quand même pas mal marqué. Euh, D'autre part, euh, ces radeaux de sargasses, je pense que c'est euh, au niveau écologique très intéressant parce que c'est vraiment euh, euh, une production primaire qui est euh, faite à partir de l'océan, c'est-à-dire des nutriments euh, de l'océan et de la lumière. Et c'est vraiment euh, une richesse euh, pour l'océan Atlantique. Et la production des océans, elle part à partir de cette production primaire. Some species found within these knots of seaweed are endemic. Swimming crabs that have never seen and probably never will see a rock or a beach. A wide variety of shrimp. And this bizarre fish, the sargasm fish from the frogfish family, which is impossible to detect in the sargasm thanks to its fronds that help it blend into its environment. So what is it about sargasm? What is behind this extraordinary proliferation? Spread due to the expansion of marine traffic? More favorable climatic conditions? New inputs of nutrient salts as a result of deforestation in the Amazon? A combination of several factors? Will the recent phenomenon of seaweed washing up on beaches continue to occur? The first step in addressing all of these questions and eliminating certain hypotheses is learning a great deal more about this seaweed. Ce que je pense, c'est que cette mission est une des premières missions sargasses et qu'il nous en faudra d'autres pour compléter nos lacunes, vraisemblablement avec des, avec des moyens de navigation beaucoup plus importants pour les hauturiers, notamment pour faire de la physiologie, et puis de multiples petites interventions avec des bateaux locaux autour euh, des Antilles pour euh, améliorer notre connaissance, avant de comprendre uh, le phénomène de la nouvelle mer des Sargasses. Throughout this scientific campaign, the first of its kind for 50 years, almost 2,000 samples have been taken. The analysis currently underway will doubtlessly reveal new knowledge. Already one thing is certain, a new Sargasso Sea is being created in the tropical Atlantic to the south of the North Atlantic. Perhaps, as Jules Verne put it, these drifting islands are the ocean's response to the recent harm it has suffered, an expression of nature's resilience in the face of global change. <laughs>